Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in the Dubai. Hello beautiful people. Thank you again for tuning in to watch another recipe that should make your Christmas menu. Today we're making the drunken chicken. What do I mean by that? Okay, so a couple of years ago, a friend gifted me some dessert wine. Now, I'm not a great fan of dessert wine. However, I have to use it. So I looked at it and I looked at my chicken and I was like, hmm, chicken legs? Let me see. Let's just pour this, you know, sweet dessert wine over this chicken. Why not? As you do, I guess, you know, you wake up one day and you decide to use your sweet wine to marinate your chicken. Definitely, you know that you are tuned in to the right channel, which is, of course, the Dudu Bai for First Cookery channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you do so now. Thank you. And if this is your first time, you welcome gorgeous. Do not forget to click the notification button, which means each time I do upload a video, you are notified of it. The next ingredient is my Michi Goro. Now, this is a West African bitter cola, and it's, it's good for your digestion, absolutely. And I'm just incorporating that into this dish. Reason is, this is going to be a sweet dish, but I want to balance that flavor by incorporating that bitterness to it anyway. Now, even though the wine, of course, does include alcohol, once it's cooked, the alcohol evaporates and it leaves this beautiful glaze that you are going to see later. Next thing is I'm adding some fresh thyme, as you do, because we're going to be marinating this bad girl. I mean, by now, you would know that I do not like waste. So, of course, I had a few um, spring onions left. I was like, no, you're going into this marinade, most definitely. And I'm just going to mix everything together till it's well combined. Now, you can use any herb of your choosing. You can try rosemary, you can try oregano, you can try anything that you want that makes you happy. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add a few bay leaves to it. Yes, and I will be marinating this bad girl for a minimum of an hour. Better still, you can do this the night before. You see, it's just taking the hassle away because sometimes Christmas Day can be so hectic and, you know, you can become so stressed. So this is such a stress-free recipe to follow. So here I have my clay pot that I've placed on a medium heat. Now to that, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there. And the next thing I'm going to add is honey. Yes. Guess what? I'm going to be caramelizing some flavors Bikrana was sitting in Dubai Fafa. Have you clicked the subscribe button yet? Please do so. Because the recipes coming, they are to die for. They're just incredible, even if I say so. <laughs> so now I'm going to be adding my onions. And it's raining onions again. It's in Dubai Fafa and her onions. Now, in the absence of that, or if you don't particularly like onions, you can use leek instead for this. Absolutely. But yeah, I'm just going to add that. And to that, I'm also going to be adding my sliced ginger pieces. So what's going to happen is the ginger is also going to soak this amazing marinade and everything. And it's just going to be nice and sweet and gingery. It's going to add that subtle flavor to this dish. Next thing is I'm adding my smoked garlic pieces. You can use your normal garlic, not a problem. And yet again, these whole ingredients are going to absorb these flavors later. So now I'm going to be adding my green chilies as well. And these are all residual heats that are going to infuse and incorporate their flavors into this marinade because we're going to be slow cooking this on the stove yes and you know yeah i mean if you do have an oven and you want to use the oven you're more than welcome to do so but this recipe i just cooked it right there on my stove i lowered that heat to its lowest setting and just allowed the shenanigans to happen as you do and of course, I'm going to add my chili 
flakes as you can see here because we need that little kick you know what i mean yes absolutely and i'm going to allow this mixture to caramelize just beautifully now this process here would take you about five to six minutes because the onions the ginger the garlic the chili the green chili that is it's just going to absorb the honey and that sweetness so it's going to be spicy and sweet and that michiguru that's going on there is also going to be adding this bitterness later I've got some star anise that I'm adding to this mixture. So it's going to give it that licorice flavor as well. And it's just also aromatic. I wish you could just smell this. It is just incredible. And look at that. It's going all smoky and like, mm-hmm. Now this looks ready for me to add my marinated chicken pieces to it. So I'm just pouring everything over it as you can see here. And I'm just going to mix everything together till it's well combined. And you can see how lovely and rich and dark already this marinade is. So we've got that michiguri in there, you've got the bay leaves, you've got the green chili, the star anise, you've got the thyme. I mean seriously. This is some big love in this pot, isn't it? You know, the love made in an African pot. Why not? And of course, now that I'm about to cook this, I'm adding my salt to taste. Now, in the absence of your dessert wine, you can use the Guinean palm wine. You know what I mean? Yes, definitely go and get in touch with the palm wine tapa or wherever you can source your fresh palm wine for. And you can use that for this recipe. Now, if you want an alcohol-free one, then you can use your Coca-Cola or try Asana. Why not? Yes, it's not any other food or it's in Dudu by far, far. We're giving you some hints here. Christmas, it did be no okay, now this as i said i'm going to be cooking this on my stove on a very very low setting and this is going to cook for about 35 to 45 minutes and i will check it after every 10 to 12 minutes just to make sure that you know it's 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 cooking just so and just perfectly because of course once most of the moisture evaporates you're going to have this beautiful glaze and you don't want that to burn at this point, my michiguru, or bitter kola, may I say, has served its purpose. It's incorporated its flavor that I require. So I've taken that out of my mixture. Yes, absolutely. And now I'm just going to be cooking the rest for the next 25 minutes. And here you have this amazing glazed chicken pieces and you can see the sauce just bubbling so nicely and beautifully you would notice that the ginger the garlic the onions they've just absorbed this marinade and it's just incredible even if i say so i mean this is so impressive that your guest will enjoy it because it's a different flavor you know what I mean? Absolutely. And I think that I'm ready to serve this bad girl. Yes, I am. Now look at that ginger piece over there. You can see it's absorbed that flavor and it's just incredible. Look at how beautiful that glaze and sauce is. Mm, flavor. And that smoky garlic piece as well. I've just added that. This is what they say. This is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fafa. I hope I have given you that reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. And the notification button, which means that each time I do upload a video, you are notified of it. I am behind, you know, writing my recipes, but they are coming up soon, most definitely, for my blog in dudu by fafa.blogspot.com. Trying to combine a busy time of the year at work and my passion is not an easy task. And I do appreciate your patience whilst I catch up as well, most definitely. So, yes, what did I serve this with? Um, I sort of made some, you know, jasmine rice with some bolotti beans sort of mixture thing that i served with us and of course i'm sprinkling with some coriander leaves oh it was just amazing 
definitely this should make your Christmas menu. Absolutely. <laughs> I will leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafata.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in Dudu by Fafa. So do pass by and say hi. Norel, thank you again for my theme song. And until next time, kings and queens, you take care of yourself, be nice, be beautiful, be a gorgeous self. And do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video coming up tomorrow. Mm-hmm.